Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I have an extra large exciting Dollar Tree haul to share with you. These items that I'm about to show you are some of the items that I picked up on the trip to the Dollar Tree, which I will link that video down below. I've been going to the Dollar Tree once a week. I record in the store and then whatever I buy, I separate into four to five different hauls. This week I'm doing four separate hauls. I did spend about $86. I bought a ton of essentials, a lot of food, toothpaste, toothbrushes, all that good stuff. Um, I will show you some of the essential stuff in this video. I just don't want to show you every essential item because I think that'll be boring. So I will be showing you um, some of the new items. Uh, since I'm spreading these hauls out, I don't know what day this video is going to go up. So if I've posted other Dollar Tree hauls, from this trip. I will link those down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and I also started up a TikTok channel as well. If that's what it's called, TikTok channel, TikTok channel. <laughs> I will list that down below. I think I've only have like four videos up, so I'm fairly new to that. I'm also going to show you this globe at the end of the video. I'm not going to have it on during um, this. There we go. And it's going to be changing colors. I don't want to have that up going the whole time because I don't know if it's going to bother any of you. So I'm going to shut it off and I will talk about that here at the end um, that I purchased. So, okay, all the moment, bleh, let me dive in and let me show you what I purchased. Okay, so Crafter Square has some new stickers and I only bought one. And this is 11 piece and it's frogs. The tadpole just had me laughing. So I did pick up frogs. So those are the stickers that I got. They have new um, notebooks. There's a couple of different ones. Um, this one had this design and that one. I like how you get two per pack. Um, they get, let's see, you get 80 sheets per um, thingy maneuver. And these were up by the register. So always check out down every aisle um, or checkout lane and see what they have and look in boxes as well. So here is the one and then the splatter one. The other one, I'm not sure exactly what was on it, but there is the lined paper. So yeah, you can never have enough paper, pens, pencils, and tape and scissors in a house. Sorry, there's never a limit. Okay, moving on. They have some funky new capsule mask I don't know these just really I, I thought of an IV bag when I um, found these in the store I'm like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of each we're gonna try it out so this is the first one it's capsule mask advanced hydration step one step two skin cooling formula that right there reminds me of an IV I, IV IV bag so I'm not 100% sure how you use it. I am not going to open it. I know I usually open these, but these just look very cool. You know what? I want to be a rebel. I'm going to open one. We are going to open one and just see. I can always tape it shut so it doesn't dry out. So if you hear something in the background humming, my husband is pressure washing the driveway. Interesting. It smells, wow, these just are so wet. Ooh, it's dripping. We got a dripper, dripper. Oh, goodness gracious, this is even worse than that black one that I hauled. Wow, that, I mean, are you gonna need a snorkel to breathe? It smells weird, you guys. Smell that, bud. Tell me what that smells like. It doesn't, it smells like some kind of medicine or something. I don't know. I mean, I know face masks are supposed to be wet. I know a lot of you said that. I've never used a face mask, so ew. But I'm just curious on what that liquid thing is for, because it looks like you have to open that. So, I don't know. You guys can always check it out. What I'll do, I'm going to hold it up here in the camera so you guys can look at it. There is the back. 
And then there is that part. You can always pause it if you need to, to read it. I will just tape that shut and have one of the kids try it out because I'm too much of a scaredy cat to put something weird on my face. I don't know, kids just, I guess, don't care what goes on their face or whatever. I don't know. I'm just freaked out about it. The other one is Deeply Hydrate. Isn't that the same one? I mean, what's the difference here? Bio. So why are they different colors? Okay, here we go. They're just, the step two is different. So there's this purple one. And then there is that one. So there's three different ones. I don't know how much these normally are, but they are kind of heavy and they look really fancy. And they are made in Korea. Interesting. And again, I will look to see if it is tested on animals. I don't know. I don't see anything on there. So I'm not sure. If you guys, I know some of you, um, some channels that I watch, they hauled those. So let me know if you're one of them or if you've tried them. Let me know how you like them. Now my hands feel weird. Ugh. Okay, that's been a lot of time on that. This was over by the out, um, Outdoor Toys. This is ages four and up. This is Sticky Catch Set. They had it in pink and this really cool green color. So I went ahead and grabbed this. This is fun just to do. Oh, I like how it has that band. Ooh, that's nice. It works. Look at that. Throw it. Oh, yay. So yeah, those are always fun. Do that and then you get, this is a safe toy to play in the house if you're stuck in the house. Front yard, backyard, heck, go in the car and do it back and forth in the car if you want. It's like a flipper. Okay. So over by like the tiki decor and everything that they have out for the summer, they have these DIY wood frames. I went ahead and picked up this sun one, which I thought was cool. And then it comes with the little stick, which I'll show you. I bought something like this before, but it wasn't like a sun. And you just, oops, well, we're supposed to be able to put, oh, stop. So that's how it sets up. Now you can have one of your kids color it and give it to uh, a mom or grandma for Mother's Day or Father's Day. My hair is driving me nuts, you guys. I need to put it in a ponytail. Um, speaking of that, Alex, can you give me a, I think there's a ponytail holder on the counter. I was going to show you guys how I do my bun. So many of you asked how I do my bun, and I keep forgetting to do it. So, heck, I'll just throw it in this video and show you how I do my bun. There's actually a couple of different ways I do it, but anyway. Uh, Jock have some new permanent markers out. You get eight per pack. They're bullet tip, which I'm assuming that means they're fat tips. I don't know. So we shall see. Yes. So let's just see how it writes. Writes good. Very low odor. Does not smell like a sharpie marker. So can't go wrong with markers. So I went ahead and grabbed those. Here they have this multi-purpose spray glue, create, uh, great for projects, extra strength, acid-free, dries clear. It's a 1.8 ounce. My daughter Ava already used some. Um, she made up a poster for her friend for her birthday and she sprayed this on the back of some pictures and yeah, it worked really good. So, oh, so if I need it, well, then I'll use it. This I thought was a fantastic deal. This is a bonus. Did you find one? Nope. Can you go up in my bathroom in the drawer and get me one, please? Thank you. Um, this is uh, the Pine Glow bonus 69% more. So you get almost 68 ounces of this and it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. What about the one that's going on now? I don't know. Can't read that. Wow. It just, yeah, it says kills the H1N1 influenza A virus, formerly called the swine flu. Wow. I mean, look at that. You know, I didn't even smell it. It's not like I'm going to walk through the dry um, dollar tree and sniff cleaner. Thank you, bud. 
floor cleaner. Oh my God, it smells like, it smells like that mask. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's the lid? Mayday. Nah, there we go. We got it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> feel like Shaggy the dog right now. Sorry for playing with my hair. It's just driving me nuts. Okay. So we have a ponytail holder. I'll do that here in a second. I'm going to show you some of the items that I picked up. And my husband has been going with me to the Dollar Tree once a week. And he's actually getting hooked on items. He, I think he has fun shopping because I pay for everything when we go to the Dollar Tree. So he's like throwing this in there, that in there. I'm like, sure, that's all right. You know, you work hard, so you get whatever you want. Alex, stop. Keep playing with that sticky thing. Um, my Dollar Tree carries big things of paint. These are eight ounce bottles. Ava uses a lot of white, which I have been bugging her, you guys. I really have. I've been bugging her for almost two weeks. Ava, two weeks. I've been asking her to do some paintings so I can record them to show you guys her paintings. Yeah, I'm talking about you. So she uses a lot of white, so I went ahead and grabbed the white for her. My husband really likes the Arm and Hammer, Arm and Hammer Essential Body Wash. The last one I hauled was fresh. This one is clear water. They are dye-free, vegan, 12-ounce bottle. So grab that for him. And then some other items that he picked out. He was going to try this Reach Essentials Instant Whiting Pen. Starts whitening as quick as one day. And it is made in the USA. I have not used this before. I have a special set that I use from the dentist. But he wanted to um, try that. So we got that. Two other items. Um, we have the basil. Uh, basil something. He uses this on the chicken that he makes. It's a 6.5 ounce. So we got a jar of that. And then the last item by Toolbench Hardware is the all-purpose caulk. Use on tubs, sinks, windows, trim, and more. It is a 4.5 ounce bottle. Two. Whatever. So that is everything that I'm going to show you in this haul. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your Dollar Trees sooner or later. So first, let me talk about this globe back there. So my husband and I went to Costco for the first time since all this stuff started. Wow, was that, that, that is just, it was crazy. People standing outside, you had to stand on your ex, they were spraying the carts, you had to have a mask, and you had to stay, you know, six feet apart. Once someone comes out, they let someone go in. It was just crazy. But anyway, um, we did buy, you know, things that we needed for the house. But I came across this. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get it. It is called a Glow Globe right here. It was $37.99. And that is what I have. You know what, Alex? Will you go back there and grab it for me? But I'm going to show you. It comes with the remote. No batteries. It comes with a station where you can charge it. Go ahead and bring it here, bud. So it is a pretty good size. There's the bottom. You just gonna place, the, place this on the charger. There's an off on. And it also comes with this metal hook here. So I could hang it from my gazebo out back. You can hang it in a bedroom or whatever. So on the remote, you have all different kinds of settings. So I'm gonna turn it on. So this is mainly just flash. Now I can just leave it all white so it doesn't change. I can do reds, greens, blues. You can do flash, strobe, fade, and smooth. But this is just really cool. I'm gonna hang it outside most likely or set it on um, the table outside. So yeah. I thought that was really cool, so I thought I would just share that with you guys. Okay, so how I do my bun, there's a few different ways, but I'll show you the easiest way. I just take my ponytail holder, put it around my hand like that. I just flip over my hair. Now, there's no hairspray or anything in my hair. But sometimes if you tease it up a little bit or put a little bit of hairspray, it'll hold up a little bit better. So I just go like this. Take my rubber band. Go like that. Make sure you guys can see it. And then I go like that. So it just has like a little 
I don't know, what do you want to call it, a little horn or whatever. I take my hair and then I just wrap it around like that. Now it's going to look all kind of funky because I don't have my hair how I normally do. But that's how I mainly do my bun all the time. Sorry, my tank top's not as long as I thought. <laughs> um, other ways you can do it is, you know, keep the hair like that. You can spread your hair on two different sides. Like I'm going to do this. And I guess if you tease your hair a little bit, it'll stay in better. And you can use bobby pins. So I'm going to take this one, wrap it, and then I'm going to tuck it underneath the rubber band. And then I'm going to take this one and wrap it. You can wrap it up, you know, different ways or whatever. And then you can poof it out. And then you can like fan it out, put bobby pins and pin it like that. So that's, that's how I do my buns. I've been doing that for a long, long time. So I know a lot of you are asking <laughs> how I do my buns. So yeah, and this is my hair. I don't have extensions. I know some of you even asked if I had extensions. And no, this, I have very long hair. So, but yeah, this is, this is all my hair. This is real. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, I would love a thumbs up. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. <laughs> stop. My butt's wet. leave you on the side of the road. <laughs>